Good morning, folks. First things first. The frame rate of data delivery has changed at some point up the line, and you're going to see the sun appear to slow down. That's not my editing or anything other than a frame rate change in the Helio Viewer playback. It shouldn't be a regular thing, and the SDO site itself is unaffected, so dig deeper if you wish. Anyway, speed change or not, there isn't much activity, just plasma filaments. These enormous ropes are finally going to be out of range in a couple days, but until then, we keep our eyes on them. Mercury and Mars conjoined this morning. The more significant alignment is still three days away when Mercury conjoins the Sun. But alas, until then, the Sun has been quiet, and the sunspots? Boy, that's encouraging, huh? We're darn close to an all-quiet event on the Sun, and it's only the limb spots that have a chance to stave it away. Not much up top, but at least one worthwhile umbra is coming in down there. Solar Wind. I believe that's a sector boundary crossing yesterday where the blue phi jumps as speed and plasma jolt as well. Slight perturbation only with this one. And then this morning, we see what I believe should herald the incoming coronal hole stream. Electron flux has hit the floor in terror, but Earth's magnetosphere just picked up his shield bang the axe, big guy. We're between coronal holes in addition to planetary alignment, so even that sector boundary can't be expected to cause too much seismic turbulence right away. We did take a moderate swarm way south in the Atlantic, Chile taking the largest of the day, but the top prize is another unusual location rumble above average in California. Folks, I hope to do a deeper look episode on this soon. GOES is doing rapid scans of the central U.S. storms for the next few weeks, and this is an example from the crazy Texas flooding. Watch how the clouds explode from single points. They migrate so it's nothing on the ground, and if you believe temperature and pressure gradients cause pinpoint energizing, you must be a meteorologist. Physicists should know better, and an earth spot field is the only way that's going to work. Great googly moogly, what have we here? Folks, got to applaud Noah because in the dozens of times they have previously reported this type of Alaska heat, they have never shown the corresponding cold that is always hitting somewhere just nearby. Imagine this happened in December. Not such a fun scenario for either area. In the United States, we're going to continue crashing rain records in the south central region. The flows just have not changed. Meanwhile, a more eastern part of the flow is bending back up and around towards New England. The energy will carry there tonight as well for some severe alerts and even possibly a tornado. Low pressure node up north in Europe. Regulator. Mounting up to the south of him are two convergence lines in the eastern nations. They could see flash flooding along those convergence lines tonight with strong wind potential as well. Down under. The southern low pressure node gets reinforced on its west side by that high, creating a convergence line that cuts from the curve back across Australia where the two airflows meet. Nothing too complex here. We've got some current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.10 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.